y'all welcome back to my channel rather should i say to myself welcome me back to my channel i know it's been longer than a minute like a really longer than a minute the last time i uploaded a video was march 2017 and we're in may 2020 yeah so where have i been and what have i been up to Whew, a lot <laughs> Good, the bad, the ugly, just living life and trying to gather my thoughts, my bearings, my life in general. I mean, as we all know or believe to know, YouTube can be a full-time job. Um, while I enjoyed my time doing it, doing it when I was doing it, it became too much to juggle. Everything that I was doing, like everything that I was doing, I was a real estate agent, I was a lawyer, I'm still a lawyer. Um, my commute got overwhelming so and I was dealing with emotions that were pretty heavy so I had to just pull everything back um, not because I wanted to but because I had to I mean I felt like I couldn't even record a video I couldn't get in front of a video and talk and it was just too much for me um, and I had so many ideas I, I mean I don't know how you guys do your things but I write down everything that I want to do and tend to do and hope to do. So it's not like I didn't have any ideas. It's not like I didn't know where I wanted to take this channel. It was just life became really heavy and YouTube for me wasn't my primary source of income. It wasn't any source of income. I was uploading videos because I was having a good time. Yes, I hope that it would become a source of income, but at that time, at this time, I've never earned a penny from YouTube. Um, so I had to get my priorities back in order in order to manage my own mental health as well as manage things that I could actually manage and YouTube was one of the first things that I had to go. Um, not go in the sense that I would never pick up a camera again because I love being in front of the camera. It's like my birthright. Um, but just doing it was a lot for me to handle. Um, so back in 2015, I left New York City and moved into the suburbs of New York. So that commute into the city became so overwhelming like it was too much and it was too much because i was doing long hours i'm an attorney and we put in hours a lot of the times i mean depending on the position that you have your hours can get really crazy so a commute from the burbs into the city with long hours became draining on your girl like i'm gonna be honest like there were times on the train that i was just crying because i was just so tired i was like exhausted like I felt like I was gonna die and then <laughs> I'm not even being dramatic there's studies that said the longer you commute it shortens your lifespan so it's just like I felt it I felt it in my bones um so being that my last video was uploaded um March 2017 um I was working as a contract attorney so with that the contract attorney and what that basically means is that I was an independent contract attorney by way of a temp agency so law firms would hire out hundreds of attorneys to work on cases that were really big. So that's what I was doing. And that was fine with me. Like, I planned to do that because I wasn't sure if I even wanted to practice as an attorney. And I was just like, this was something that I can do while I figure out what it is, what I really want to do. So I was totally fine with doing that. Like, I had no issues with doing that. The issue came into play when I moved because the commute from the burbs into the city Ooh, one way was taking me like two hours. It was it was a lot. I mean, and it was just a lot. Like two hours one way commute is just too much. So yeah, it became super super draining, and I was I was over it. I was like, I need to find a real job because I can't do this. <laughs> I can't do this because the commute is too long and it's too temporary. So I was just like, okay, I need to gather myself and I need figure out what it is I'm going to do now that I live in the suburbs and the city commute is too much for me. Um, don't get me wrong, working in the city with a full-time position would have been fine for me because it's a full-time position. There's a little bit more certainty with that. Um, in my mind, I don't think any job is guaranteed. Let's not get that twisted. However, there's a little bit more certainty with a job that you know that is a full-time position versus a temporary position where it can end at any moment when they no longer need the support of the additional attorneys that they have. 
So with that being said, I had to recalibrate what am I doing and how I'm going to adjust with this new life that I have living in the suburbs. Um, so I had to focus on finding full-time employment. And then I eventually did. Uh, I started a new job in 2017, the October of 2017. And I was really happy. I was like, oh my God, I got a, I got a job full-time. It's close to home. I was super, super excited. I was like, this is a new chapter in my life. Things are going to be different. I was excited. So excited. <laughs> I, was, I was really super excited. Um, but I still didn't pick up the camera yet because it's a new job. I'm figuring out my place in this new job. And I'm like, okay, deciding and getting my schedule together and seeing how can I adjust. And, and I was hoping, definitely hoping to pick up the camera again. But... Guess what happened at the end of that year? So I started in October 2017 and then I got rear ended in December 2017. Yeah, yeah, life was coming at me really, 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 really fast. I mean, I was like, in March, I was super exhausted, super sad, super depressed because the commute was killing me. Um, I felt like I was floating all over the place. Um, I was doing the real estate. That's also hefty if you've ever look for a home or if you've ever been a real estate agent that that's that is timely timely and it can get costly you're expensive so I, I just had to put some things on the back burner and I was just like okay things were supposed to be looking up I got this new job that's close to home like what can go wrong right now yeah I got rear-ended that's what went wrong um and then if you're anyone superstitious like I am sometimes. I was like, oh my god! Like the night that I got rear-ended, I was so happy. Like it was, it was weird. Like I stayed at work later than I needed to stay, and because there was an assignment that needed to get done, but my supervisor was like, you don't need to stay, you can go. But I was like, oh, you know, I'm still you. I'm, you know, put me to work. I'm not afraid to work or whatever. Um, but I was super excited because I was like, oh my god! Like things are working out right now. Like new job, and I had a new car. Ooh new car i had the new car for 10 days 10 days so i was like new job new car my house still pretty new and then i get rid i get rid and i was like i was holding this feeling of being happy same night and then i get rid ended because i decided to stay late at work when i didn't even need to stay late at work what did it do to that yeah that's where i was at um it wasn't a crazy accident like i didn't lose any limbs thank god i didn't like have a brain injury or anything like that but i did get hurt um and i got hurt to the point where i didn't expect to be hurt as bad as i was hurt um and i ended up having to do physical therapy for quite some time like i still have pain and everything it's not as bad as the beginning but i still have pain but that, at that time i was like i, I couldn't do anything so here goes another halt on me picking back my camera up to record. I was not in the mental frame of mind to do any of that. I was just like, really? Really? <laughs> oh, let me get back to the superstitions part. I was just like, I, I blamed it on myself because I was like, dang, here I was talking about this is my year or next year, 2018 is going to be my year. Things are looking up, like blah, blah, blah. <sighs> yeah but anyway that's what happened so again youtube on the back burner um so 2017 i was working doing my job whatever doing physical therapy um i wasn't no, i wasn't doing real estate anymore by that time because i was just like okay i'm just gonna focus on this right here to see where it goes that job i know they say don't talk bad about your prior jobs but I hated every moment being in that job like by the six months I started looking for a new job because it was just I hate I hated the subject matter uh it was just really bad I just it was tearing up my soul it was it wasn't for me at all whatsoever no way around it it was not for me and that ended up being there for two years and when I tell you I was looking I Every single day, I recreated a LinkedIn. I 
I was on Craigslist. I was on um, all the other websites where you search. Uh, I can't even remember the other ones that I've been using. I was on Glassdoor. I was on. <sighs> Why is this me right now? Indeed. I was on Indeed. I was on all of them. I was asking people that I trusted to look at my resume to help me review it. I was having cover letters like crazy. I was basically doing the same thing that I did when I was in law school when I was looking for a job, a full time job. Like, it was insanity. And. I was not getting any bites. I mean, I had interviews, but either they would say that I didn't have the qualifications that they were looking for, or myself didn't vibe with the employer. I was just like, nah, I'm gonna stick with the, the devil that I know that enter somewhere that I don't know that's gonna be worse for me. Um, so it was, it was really tough. Another thing that was draining me was just like, <sighs> yeah so that was when that, and I was still doing the modeling thing I was submitting every day I mean it's easy to submit every single day you get your account you search your type and you set up your alerts and you look and you get the emails or you go on the website and you get it every day I've never canceled out my um, casting network account like that's something I keep going I did cancel out the other ones because I've never booked jobs from some of them so I was like okay let me keep the one that I was able to get a return on meaning that I booked a job and was able to pay for the subscription so I had that <sighs> and I did go on auditions a couple auditions and I was able to still book at least one thing a year which is I mean it's all right and I'm thankful for it and I'm not gonna ever knock those things that I've done because I love doing them when I was doing them and I wish I had more but of course, you know, the heart wants what it wants and you want to do more of those things. But being a lawyer pays the bills, supports my family and all that jazz. So where am I in the story? We're almost two years in physical therapy, doing a job that I absolutely detest, detest and I'm searching for a new job and I'm still submitting some auditions. Where was YouTube gonna come into that picture? I don't know. Um, it was just, and I still wasn't in the mental frame of mind to even pick up my camera and get in front of the camera and start talking to you guys. Like, I just wasn't there. Like, I felt, I felt so defeated. And I know they say, count your blessings, be thankful, but it can be really hard to do that when the things that you want and work so hard for, just, they're just not revealing yourself or you can't see it. Because you guys can look at my life and say, oh no, you're doing well, you're doing this, you're doing that, things are happening. But when you're in it, it looks and feels harder than it might be to someone else. But that's a whole nother conversation to have. So finally, let's, we're in 2019. We're coming to the end of 2019. Um, jobs start giving me positive feedback. And by the time the end of, um, I'm coming up on the end of like turning in my two weeks for this job, I had three offers from great companies. Like at first I was like, nothing was hitting, nothing was standing like the way I wanted it. And then I had put two potentials from two great companies and they just fell out, out of the, the world where I just don't know what happened to these three. And I was just like, what's going on? What's going on? My resume is good it's good enough um and why why is this happening i'm doing everything i'm supposed to be doing why isn't this working for me but then by the time the end came i had three dope offers like one of them even flew me out to their headquarters out of new york and i just felt like i felt really really good i was like this where y'all was at this whole time when i was looking like a year and a half ago like where were where where were y'all where where were y'all but i was super 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 grateful and it was such a boost to my ego it was such a boost like we all need that every now and then i mean unless you already have a boosted ego but your girl's ego was bruised and i was just like but i made the choice to go with 
the job that I went with. And I'm glad that I did. Not that the other two weren't great. I'm sure they're great. It's just that their offer wasn't what I was looking for. Um, and then, of course, the one that I went with was the offer that I was looking for. But I was just uh, So I went with the offer that I went with. And I'm very happy that I chose that offer. Like, I'm really happy with it. <sighs> and, yeah, that sigh, that... <sighs> it's like, okay, this is the relief that I needed for now. Um, and I'm just really happy to be in the position that I'm in because I'm learning lots, meeting really great people, and I'm just excited to see where it goes and where it takes me. So with that said, I feel like my heart is in a, in a happy place where I can do other happy things because I'm not being drained by something that that's a part of my life that pretty much feel like you know the movie the blob where where it the more it eats the more it eats it gets bigger and bigger and bigger and overwhelms everything that's how I felt when I was in the negative space I just felt like that negative feeling was just growing and growing and growing and devouring everything that made me happy so I'm glad that part of me is gone I know everyone says now like oh oh think positive thoughts and I'm one of those people too like yeah we have to remind ourselves to think positive thoughts and do positive things and just be encouraged and just keep going but sometimes it does get really 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 overwhelming where you're just like oh, this is really something to let up now that that let up is you know off to the side now and it's behind me you know stepping stone foundation growth all that good stuff I'm here in a point in my life where I'm like, okay, I can continue to do the things that really brings me joy. Um, I mean, I did let go of everything that brought me joy, but I just felt like my heart wasn't in it as much as I know it could be in it. So here we are, May 2020. And with everything that's going on, I sometimes I do feel a little guilty feeling like, like, oh, I'm happy right now, but the world is in a chaotic place. But then again, I feel like the world is always in a chaotic place. But this time it's like affecting all of us in a way where the world has come to kind of a halt for so many people. As I know, the employment numbers are, has skyrocketed. Um, I mean, I know people personally who are affected by it and my heart goes out heart goes out to those people and I mean I wish those things weren't happening but they are happening you know life happens and we have to kind of figure out how to move on sometimes we figure it out sometimes we don't figure it out but life life is hard I hate to say it I hate to say it I hate to say it but it can be really hard but it also can be really beautiful because even though all this chaos is happening I feel like for me personally right now and <laughs> Again, I could be a superstitious person. Um, I'm just like, oh my God, I'm feeling this little pinch of joy. And it's just like, I don't want to let it go. Because I had let it go for so long that I don't want to fall back into that depressive state. And it can happen. Like, I'm not perfect by any means. Um, no one is. Like, what is perfection anyway? That could be another video as well. Um, but I'm at the point where I feel like, oh, I feel motivated to up my camera again and go in front of my camera and here I am catching up with you guys um, um to let you guys know hey I'm here and I plan to be back and make more videos and reach out to you guys and give you guys great content um lifestyle content um I don't know advice maybe not tutorials because tutorials because I'm really not a makeup guru like, I do basic of the basic of the basic makeup as you can see. And I'm okay with that. Um, wigs. I love wigs. I'm still a wiggy. Um, wig person. I just started doing crochet hair also. Um, just what my life entails. Even advice. Because I do get asked a lot of questions about my law school career and um, modeling, acting, and juggling both and all that good stuff. Um, so yeah, like this can be a source of information for people who 
who are like me because a lot of times I feel like there's no one out there like me. Like, I can't find anybody that I relate to. Yes, I watch a lot of YouTubers and I love a lot of their content because it's just beautiful and, and inspiring. That, you know, what is it? Like kids today, their number one career to aspire to to be a YouTuber. So, yeah, we all, you know, see and watch and hope to achieve a lot of those things that those great YouTubers are are achieving but still at the end of the day I feel like no one out there I can relate to or I haven't seen the story similar to mine and I feel like there's people out there and maybe they just haven't been voiced yet um but I think I've spoken a lot at this point to catch you guys up to where I am right now I gave you guys like just the bare bones of then till now and Hopefully, we will carry on this conversation going forward, and I am really happy to be here, and I hope you guys are happy to be here also to witness, or to continue to witness this journey, and we can, you know, grow together, and all that good stuff. I want to thank you guys again for watching, for taking the time to watch and hear me out, and I hope you remember to subscribe, like, comment, share, yeah, yeah, uh, I still kind of remember. And I'll see you guys in the next